Officer, Hartwin, less than 24 hours after dodging death at the hands of a deranged gunman, returned to his Brooklyn home with a smile on his face and his wife at his side. The 30-year-old cop, his right arm in a sling, beamed Friday afternoon after leaving Jamaica Hospital to a bagpipe soundtrack and the cheers of 200 blue-clad NYPD colleagues. I'm doing good, the happy young cop declared as he entered his apartment building. I'm feeling good, feeling better. The second-year officer's life was saved Thursday by his bulletproof vest when a mentally ill gunman blasted him three times from close range without provocation. David Wexler for New York Daily News The vest stopped two potentially lethal shots, while the third bullet struck Nagoyan's arm. Assailant Andy Sapio, who had a history of psychiatric issues, was off his medications and committed suicide inside his parents' home in Queens after shooting the cop, police said. Wynn left the hospital accompanied by his wife, his NYPD partner and his mom and dad, all stepping brightly into the August sunshine. Danielle Mazinski for New York Daily News He's doing fine, his father, Charles, told the Daily News. When I heard about the shooting, it made me sick to my stomach. But when I got to the hospital, I saw all the people, all the police officers outside and inside, and they helped us very much and helped us feel a lot better. Everything is okay. I thank God for that. NYPD Commissioner James O'Neill, after visiting with Wynn and his family, offered a sigh of relief over the officer's near-death experience. Sam Costanza for New York Daily News faced the facts, we're lucky he survived, said O'Neill. A lot of rounds fired at a very close distance, so he feels real happy to be alive. The officer was shot inside a Queen's home after responding to an escalating fight between the gunman and his father, with Sukdio's mother finally dialing 911 for help. An enraged Sukdio smashed a television during his rant, sources said, before taking refuge in a back bedroom at the residence. Ken Marie New York Daily News as Wynn approached the room, the 29-year-old suspect flung the door open and started blasting, with three bullets slamming into Wynn. Two EMTs with him were not injured, and Paulus were not able to return fire. Sukdio killed himself after a short standoff with police. A .38 caliber revolver and a .380 semi-automatic handgun were recovered, along with ammo, speed loaders and loaded clips. Cops found the prescription antidepressant Zoloft, along with other unidentified pills, at the home. Robert Street Iron Law Enforcement sources said Sukdio had scrawled a swastika on the wall and the message, I die with a joyful heart. Family and neighbors were shocked Friday by the violent end to the life of a Loki man. Nobody knows what goes on behind a quiet mind, mused his cousin Laxman Singh, 47. He was like a brother to me. He wasnt a violent person. Sukdio was a nice kid, a quiet kid, said neighbor Alex Justy, 75. Matter of fact, he shoveled the snow in front of my house once. It's a shame what happened. Police had tried to establish a rapport with the gunman, but could not contact him via the home's landline. With Graham Raymond, Chelsea Rose Marchius, Asheray, Ross Keith.